The myths of the open face sand wedge. You control the distance with your pivot, you hinge and hold the angle, you turn through the ball, and you keep the club face open. So as we look at this, we're really going to see that as the club passes the left arm, the club itself, the way the balance is, the face will rotate to toe up or just slightly open because it started open. So the club is not staying open. One of the problems with the pull, turn, and hold the face open technique is that you can wipe right across the ball like I do here and the ball goes nowhere and it ends up to the right. And it's just not reliable. Here it is from face on and you'll see as I go through, there I am holding the face open and you can see the way the arms and hands look. The truth is when we hit a shot, a high trajectory shot, we want our weight in our left foot at impact. We want to match the dress shaft lane one to three inches past impact, but the club is gone. So if we compare my right arm in these two pictures, same place, we use our hands and wrists. We let the club, the high trajectory shot, we let the club pass our hands, and when it passes our hands, the club face is going to close. So as we look at this where I hit this ball, you are going to see there's the club hitting the ball, and there is the club face rotating. So... That's really what we do, and we're going to use the bounce of the club with this technique. We're not controlling the distance with our pivot. We're controlling the distance with the speed of the club and the loft in the club through our arms, hands, and wrist, not our pivot. If we simply hit it one-handed, you will see my weight shifts into my left foot, my right hand throws, and it rotates. That, it that's how intuitive this shot should be. It shouldn't be as awkward as you pulling, turning, and trying to keep the face open. It's really a free orbit of the club head. I'm barely holding on to this club. I'm letting the club really swing me. And look what happens when I just let the club have a free orbit. And if we do that, that's what really works. But see, so many people are trying to hit this ball by turning, pulling, and holding the face open and holding angles. If you look at it face on again, here it is. I'm holding this angle and trying to hold this club face open. That's not what happens. Look here in the bunker. So if we watch this bunker shot, what are you going to see? You're going to see my weight in my left foot hitting down and look at the release. There's no holding the club face open. And notice here from down the line, look at the club coming into the ball. Look at the club face rotating as I rehinge it on the other side. So if we simply have a throwing motion with the right arm and hand, the ball will always go. The ball's always going to go to the target. We're not going to cut across it and have it dump and just stop right over here where this ball is. So quit trying to hit these shots by pulling and turning and holding the face open and start using your right hand to throw and let this club go and you will see a totally different technique and a consistency to your shots if you just start letting the club go and start throwing it more. So these things are miss. You control the distance with your pivot. You hinge and hold the angle. If you actually hinged and hold the angle, you'd miss the ball. You turn through the ball. No, the club swings past you, and that momentum turns your body. And we do not keep the club face open. For more information, visit LarryRinker.com.